funny instrument here is um, somewhere in between a monochord and a typewriter. It's called Bulbul Taran. And it comes from India or Pakistan, Punjabi region. And um, these instruments came there, uh, I think, in the 1930s uh, from Japan. So you get similar ones in Japan too, and these are called Taisho Goto or Japanese banjo, Japan banjo. Um, yeah, uh, the way it works is rather simple. You get four strings all tuned to the same note, and you got keys. Furthermore, you got one drone note that you can play together with the others. So these keys hit, um, hit the strings or push them down on the fretboard underneath uh, the keys. Now there is one thing you need to know. These instruments come from um, India. So uh, the Indian quality standard is uh, not a Western European. Um, regarding uh, the varnish. So it might be that there is little spots. Uh, we try to polish up most of them, but uh, a typical Indian thing and uh, we had not found any supplier, although India is, is really, really big, uh, where you get 100% uh, Western quality. Um, but the quality only refers to the varnish. So the rest of it, um, we put a lot of work into it. Um, that means um, we worked on the frets, so they're all even, all flat. Um, so uh, this is probably the bul bul tarang uh, with with less with the less buzzing. Uh, each and every other bul bul tarang will have more buzzing sounds on the strings. So that's the one thing. The other thing is uh, we send it down this bridge, so you don't get additional bending effects when um, going up the up the neck, I would say, up the keys. <laughs> uh, still, uh, due to the technical construction that these keys, if you look at it, um, they, they come down in one very stair ankle that um, the thicker string and the thinner string, they would really need a little bit of different tension when pushing them down. Um, so that means the further you go up here, um, the more unprecisely the notes get. Um, the effect gets uh, higher the more you go up here, but uh, for the first one and a half octaves you have hardly got anything of it. Um, so if, if you play it mainly in this part, and I think that's what it's made for, uh, it works pretty well. The others cannot work due to the construction, uh, but it's a little bit also of that sound of that instrument. Now, one last thing to know is um, there is an onboard pickup, electromagnetic pickup, like you get an electric guitar, and the instrument comes with a little amp, and uh, this is what that sounds like. You can put that uh, to your pants, lock it there, and it's even got an overdrive. <laughs>